There are still 16 severe flood warnings, meaning a danger to life in force this evening. 14 of them here in the Thames Valley, two in Somerset. But the West Midlands is holding its breath, not least the historic city of Worcester, where the River Severn has equaled its highest ever recorded level today. Fatima Manji is there live. Fatima, just describe what you've been seeing today there in Worcester. Well, John, don't be deceived by what looks like a very calm situation at the moment because we may well be in the Midlands, but it feels like we're on some sort of coastline. We felt the wind battering away at us. On our drive here, we saw a tree come down. The flood levels are incredibly high. The river is at record level. Uh, you can barely tell where the river ends and where the road begins. Worcester is a city quietly besieged by the elements. They've tried to continue as normal, but it seems that's only possible for the swans. Close to the city centre, the fire and rescue team evacuate an elderly woman from her sheltered housing. She stayed as long as possible, but with the river rising, it's now time to go. She's being taken to a local care home until her own flat is safe to return to. With these water levels rapidly rising, there's growing concern for the people living in these flats. In the last few hours, they've lost their electricity and the focus is on getting the most vulnerable people out first. It's escalated slightly here that when we've got down here, um, other people in flats have asked to be evacuated. Problem they've got is they've had electricity up until now. That's starting to be cut off as the flood water rises and they'll start to affect the electrics. And then some people have taken the decision now while we're here to evacuate and get out uh, while they can. But getting in and out of the city is increasingly difficult. With Worcester Bridge shut, the only way to get across is by the council's shuttle bus. Further along the Severn, it's a similar story. High water levels and wind worthy of the wildest coastline has hit the Midlands. Believe it or not, this is a street. And in the middle of the town of Upton, this. Houses are entirely cut off by the swollen river. Among them, 75-year-old Harry Gaunt and his daughter, in their home surrounded by flood water. Since we hadn't brought a boat, there was only one way to communicate. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? How long have you, how long have you been stranded? We've been in here since Friday. Have you had any help? We haven't, we haven't been able to get out at all at the moment. So you've been stranded there since Friday. How does it feel? Uh, absolutely beautiful. Well, we haven't been able to get in or out because the roads are blocked off. Um, we need a pair of waders, really, you know, to do a bit of manoeuvring. But uh, we did ask the council, but they were, they, we were all out at the moment, so there's nothing left, you know, for us. So have you so got have that, you got enough food and supplies? We've just it's not asked us now. We're just hoping that this flooding goes down within the next couple of days. So all along the Severn, the river is bursting its banks. Some people have been evacuated. Others, as we've just seen, are entirely cut off. And they say they're not getting the help they need. But with river levels not expected to peak until tomorrow, no one's expecting a miracle. All they can do is sit tight and wait.